Okay, welcome back. And now let's do another word problem. So this involves a table. So let me read and then we'll uh, uh, solve it. It says, when fuel costs increase, more people consider the purchase of a hybrid car. And then, uh, and they need to make informed decisions about whether such a purchase will save them money in the long run. Consider a vehicle that is available in a hybrid and a non-hybrid model. The following table shows us several pertinent facts about the two models. Okay, now, we want to know... Okay, oh, by the way, let's assume that the average price of gas is $2.50 per gallon. Let's assume that. So, price of gas, which is $2.50 per gallon. Let's just say that that's the average right now. We wish to determine how many miles of driving it will take before the fuel savings of the hybrid will make up for the greater initial cost. Okay, so now, first of all, we've got to take consider the tax credit that you get, okay? So if you apply the tax credit to the purchase price, what's the actual cost of the hybrid vehicle? Well, it's going to be, what, 29,500 minus the 2,200, which is going to be the 20, it's going to be 27,300. Okay, now, what's the cost difference? Okay, so now let's look at the cost difference for a minute. So, again, remember what the goal is. We need to figure out, well, how many miles is it going to take to say that the hybrid is going to be worth it, that I'm going to actually save more money on the hybrid, okay? Um, or I'm going to make it up with the hybrid, okay? So I'm going to spend, okay, how much more? So now if I take the 27300 for the hybrid, uh, let's say that's the out-of-pocket, okay? And uh, minus the 25000 for the non-hybrid model, then what's, this is going to be a difference of $2,300, okay? So I'm going to end up paying $2,300 $2, more for the hybrid model. Now, here also, I'm going to be being able to go more mile, miles, right? More miles per gallon, so I get better consumption, right? Because it's a hybrid. So I get 20 miles per gallon versus 20 miles per gallon, okay? So, the question is, again, let me go back to the question. It says, we wish to determine how many miles of driving it will take before the fuel savings of the hybrid will make up for the greater initial cost. Okay. Okay, so now. Here's the price per gallon. Okay. So, I want to figure out um, I want to relate cost to mileage, right? Because that's what they're saying is how many miles would I have to go to make up for the difference that it's going to cost me? Well, it's $2.50 per gallon. And I can go eight more miles per gallon. Right? So I can go eight more miles per gallon with the hybrid than with the non-hybrid. So that's the the difference in the mileage, mileage. So that means for every gallon of gas, I'm going to be able to go eight 
more miles. Well, you know what, let me, let me do it a different way. Um, no, let me do it a different way. Okay, let me break it down this way. So, $2.50 per gallon. Let's break it down individually. I think I'll probably get the, end up getting the right for the same answer, but let's break it down individually. So, the cost per mile for the, for the uh, hybrid is this, right? So it's $2.50 per gallon, and for every gallon, I'm going to go 28 miles, okay? That's going to be for the hybrid. For the non-hybrid, it's going to be, again, $2.50 per gallon, right? That's the same for each model, but this time, I, I'm only going to get 20 miles for each gallon of gas, okay? So now, for each one of these, what do I get? So if I put this in my calculator and I calculate the um, cost per mile, for the hybrid, I'm going to get approximately uh, $0.089. So this is going to be $0.089 per mile. And for the non-hybrid, it's about 12 and a half cents. Okay. And so now that's the cost difference. So, okay, now. So this is what it's costing me per mile for the non-hybrid. This is what it's costing me per mile for the hybrid. So, how much money am I saving per mile? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract these two and give me, hey, how much am I saving per mile? Okay, so if I subtract the point 0.89, so approximately uh, 8.9 cents per mile from the 12.5 cents per mile, right? So what do I get? I get a savings of point what? Three point six cents. Or no. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, point three six, point zero three six, or three point six cents per mile. Okay, now this is my savings per mile. So if this is my savings, how many miles am I going to have to go before I save that much money? Well now, I've got my, I, I, I've got my formula. So now I have to take this, right? So I've got, uh, I've got to figure out miles, right? So I've got, I need miles, right? And for each mile, I'm going to save 0 0.036 dollars, okay? So I'm starting here, and then what am I gonna do? Well, I need, what? I wanna have um, miles, right? So, and I want 2,500, I got 2,300 dollars, so guess what, I'm gonna have 23, hundred dollars 
that I want to save. Okay? Now, if I have $2,300 and I'm trying to figure out how many miles to go, guess what? Now it becomes a division problem, right? How many of these 3.6 cents will go into $2,300? And so if I just divide the two, 2,300 divided by 0 0.036, that's going to give me approximately, right? And so let's set this up another way before we do that. Okay, so I've got my savings, right? So I need, this is per mile, right? So I have 0 0.036 per mile. This is my number, right? Well, I need to multiply this by a certain number of miles. That's what I'm trying to find. This times the number of miles is equal to, right? What do I want this to equal to? $2,300. So I set up an equation, right? Where X is the number of miles I, I, I go. Well, if I divide both sides by 0 0.036, I get the same answer, the same result that I got here using doing it this way. So 0 0.036, and so X ends up being what? And again, it's going to turn out to be 63,888.8 miles. So it's approximately 63,888.8 miles, okay? So again, if you're looking at an average of 15,000 miles per year, so you're looking at a little over four year or in the fourth, uh, let's say, no, in the fifth year, Right, so let's see, 15,000 miles, so the first year, and then in the second year, the third year, the, in the fourth year. So yeah, in the fifth year, you'll end up saving money. So approximately 64,000 miles of driving before the fuel savings of the hybrid will make up for its greater initial cost. Now again, you have to think about this just from the hindsight, is it worth it, right? Is it worth it? I would argue no, because again, I know for a fact that uh, the average number of years that uh, an American anyway owns a car is about four or five years, okay? So by the time, again, based on people's buying habits, now me personally, I keep a car for at least seven or eight years, okay? I'm not a... I'm not, well, I'm not dumb, so I'll just put it that way. So, so again, about 64,000 years, 64,000 miles, if you're putting 15,000 miles on average, they say 12, but it's, it's more, more closer to 15, I think, nowadays. Um, but nonetheless, you're going to be in your fifth year of driving before you actually break even. Okay? So, again... Something to consider. Have a great day.